I, I believe that and my understanding mm -hmm. is that they are looking for various genes that could cause uh, cancer and possibly other diseases that we don't know about yet. We know about some, the BRCA1 gene uh, and various others, but, but there will be others that we haven't discovered. And only by getting lots of people together and examining their blood or their DNA, we can find out what's the same in each of them that's the common, common cause, if you like. And when we know that, we can then develop treatments that are particular, that will help that particular person more than a more general treatment. And I think things are going very much with that way, it, it, uh, even in breast cancer. Uh, some people are having slightly different treatments because they have a slightly different DNA and the breast cancer is slightly different. So they have a more tailored or more sort of uh, different treatment to what I've had and we only know that by research and looking at other um, people's DNA. Um, the best thing that could come out of it could have a wonder treatment that could could happen I know that's highly unlikely but at least it's there uh, to help further uh, genetic research it's there to help um, you and future generations um, yeah. So thinking about the 100,000 Genomes Project, how did you become involved in that? How were you invited to take part? Um, while I was waiting to go and have my um, pre-meds tests, um, I had a nurse come up to me and ask me if I would be interested in the Genome um, Project, um, not knowing what it entailed. I said that, um, you know, I didn't want to go through any trial drugs and she assured me that, no, there wouldn't be any of that. It was purely, you know, to have some bloods taken and um, experiences of, of treatments, really. Um, and um, so I said, yes, I would, if it helps someone else along the line. That's what we have to do. So the, the tissue, that, you know, it was very easy. Any donation I had to make of blood tissue was very easy because the tissue was taken during operations when I knew very little about it um, and they were taking tissue anyway. As far as I know, no additional tissue was taken. It would be, it, you know, it was what was taken anyway from, for pathology. So, and I was under anaesthetic, so, <laughs> so it didn't affect me it does state that um, you know results of the research will be used commercially but again that's what this is all about and um, there's no use doing some research on in genetics if then the companies that can do something about the treatments don't get that information <laughs> so for me that was part of the process okay. and part of the part of being involved and the purpose of the study um, so I think if you if you consent to being part of the genome project you have to realize that it will be used commercially your information will be used but as part of a group um, and anonymized and one of the hundred thousand people rather than you know who I am where I am and <laughs> okay okay so we just say did you have any worries about it? No, I didn't have any worries about how my information would be used.